So with the closure of the Alaskan Way Viaduct, a lot of people out there are finding themselves working remotely, maybe for the first time. Here with some tips on how to do that efficiently, as efficiently as possible, is professional home organizer and productivity coach, Jean Promininsky. It's good. Prom Promininsky, that's Prominsky. right. Yeah, sorry yep. about that. Yep. It's lovely to have you yes. here. And you brought something I didn't know. We're actually officially getting organized in the state. Yes. So in addition to National Get Organized Month, it is Washington Get Organized Month. I am a member of the Seattle NAPO group. Cindy Jobs, one of our members of the chapter, another organizer and coach, contacted the governor and got uh, an official Washington State recognition for January 2019. So we are in Get Organized Month for mm -hmm. Washington State. Yep. So that'll maybe give us some extra organization. What do you find <laughs> stops us? Everybody wants to be organized. Everybody wants mm -hmm. to get rid of the clutter, but somehow we don't. What's our sticking point? Yeah, so what I like to really emphasize is the self-attunement piece, really connecting with yourself, having a really good morning practice, and making sure that doesn't bleed into the rest of your day. So setting a specific time when you want to start the work day, um, using something like the time timer to help you stay on track. And I love to really teach people about bubbling up. So it's something that I learned from Daisy Thompson, a teacher that I just absolutely love. And so she teaches us to bring a stream of white light down through the top of our head, mm -hmm. down our body, out our hands, down our legs, and out our feet. And then some sort of a grounding energy. It could be a tree or a rock or anything you want and bring that up through your feet. Mentally, we're just yep, doing this yep, mentally. Mentally, through your body, through your, your arms, out your hands, up through the top of your head, and just imagine yourself in a bubble of white light. And this is something that can be done in like three seconds, or you can spend a long time doing it, really connecting to your heart. But that, that piece, that part of uh, being able to really attune to yourself mm -hmm. makes a huge difference. So you're not just slouching into your work, but you're purposefully going into it yeah. when you do this. Yeah. So working from home can be kind of trouble because other things interrupt or you don't start on time. So how, how do we mm -hmm. use the timer exactly to help yeah. us? Yeah, so the timer, I love to use that as part of my morning routine and part of my day. It's uh, called the time timer and you set it to the amount of time that you want to work and you can visually see the time going by. So that's, that's kind of helpful because you can look it, down and go, oh, I'm halfway through. I need to move a little quicker. Yeah, I used to just use a timer on my phone or something like this. And this ha being able to see that makes all the difference. The visual of this. OK, because I was going to ask, I would generally use like a stopwatch on my phone, but you don't get that same picture of the red space going right. down to zero. Um, you say you try for a short creativity practice. Mm -hmm. Is that different from the, the white light exercise? Yeah, so right after I do the white light exercise, I do a creativity practice. I have a background in art. I have a master's in glass. And I think that this is something that's really good for anyone to do, no matter if you're an artist, if you consider yourself an artist or not. Um, but a lot of people use a vision board. So they'll, they'll make a vision board for the month or the year or whatever they're working on. And what I like to recommend is to make have have a vision board but then have a word or something that you really want to work on for that day use the time timer to say okay I'm just gonna do this for 10 minutes very short creativity practice so I might pick my company Seattle sparkle so a lot of times I'll pick the word sparkle I'll draw that out and I'll draw some sparkles just to help me really connect to my heart it primes my brain and sets me up for that feeling of bring sparkles. Into and if the world. anybody thinks that's too woo woo, mm -hmm. let's talk about sort of what we know um, data wise about brain science and how you get focused. So how you get focused um, in terms of vision boards, really being able to or or if you're not going to use a vision board, let's say you really want to do I'm a Toastmasters member, for example, I'm a, a area director. And so I do a lot of speeches. And so I will just envision myself doing that speech. OK, this is going to work out positively. I'm going to connect with the audience. I'm going to say whatever is really important. And to have that that visualization of already going through the the speech and having success 
really gets you there. Puts when you, you in do the it. right frame of mind. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of interesting because a vision board is you're thinking about something. It's a mental process you're going through, but using that other sense of seeing something seems to bolster you and whatever your purpose is. And I like that. You also say eat right for your body type. Mm -hmm. Now, I wouldn't have even thought about that as be a work yeah. from home process, but why is it important? Yeah, yeah, so that was something I learned. Uh, a great friend, um, Greg Owen, right before I went to grad school, I met with him and I said, Greg, you know, I need to be productive at school. I've been eating these things and I just, I'm losing energy in the middle of the day or right after lunch, and so. What were you eating? What I, was wrong? Uh, I was eating probably bagels and too many processed carbs, and so we really looked at my diet and determined that I needed to add m a lot more protein. That's especially good for people with ADHD um, to add in the protein and a lot of vegetables. It's different for everyone, mm -hmm. but healthy fats and that kind of thing. And so, I like to help people focus on making sure that they're eating enough. I don't scold people for eating things that they're not wanting to eat, <laughs> but I just say, okay, add more of what you want. Right, and yeah. then keep your fuel pretty efficient through your day. You also remind us to move around, because you can get stuck. If, mm -hmm. there's, if there's nothing else to focus on but work and you get really yep. into it, you could sit there for a long time. Yep, yep, so I've got my little bouncy personal trainer, little Jack <laughs> Russell that I love. Yes, Miss I have girl. one too. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Ah, they're the best. Absolutely, we'll make you yep. move around. Yeah, so having a dog, having a pet really gets me up and out of the house early, but I also do, I like to start my day, I um, do these Shogun Fitness exercise videos. They're very efficient, short videos that you can do from home. Get your blood pumping, a little cardio, a little strength training, and th that helps raise your endorphins and just gets you in a really good mindset. Your physical mm -hmm. thing helps your mental thing. Clear the clutter, you say, before the start of the work day. <clears throat> so what do you mean? If I've got a home office mm -hmm. or if I'm sitting down to work, what, what clutter am I worried about? Well, uh, trash, recycle, sometimes uh, people forget to take the trash out, things like that. So before you start working, uh, maybe the day before or a couple days before, um, really clear out all the trash and recycling, file the papers that you need to file, and make sure your desk is something that inspires you. So some people do like to have some mess, that helps them feel comfortable and motivates them, and some people like a really clear desk, but I really recommend having something that truly inspires you. I love Barcelona, I love Gaudí and La Sagrada Familia, and so I have this really pretty photo above my computer of the church in Barcelona. And that just helps you feel comfortable where you're working. Yeah. Thank you very yeah. much. Um, up next, we're going to see how easily acupuncture can help you feel better and even look better in the new year. We'll be right back.